Hi, folks. We'd like to welcome you to the West Grand Championship Qualifier here in the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. Rob Stone joined by the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Wow, you can really feel the excitement with these competitors. Randy, what are your thoughts about tonight? My strategy was always trying to start fast in qualifying events, get a jump on the competition, and then put the pressure on them. Get on them and stay on them. Randy with the nice analysis. Let's see what happens tonight, starting right now. First frame, strike, no problem. Looking for the double. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. We'll try and make it three in a row here. Seven count there. We'll see how they approach this. Very nicely done. Made it look easy. Delivery for the strike. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Got it! Two strikes in a row. Will we see three? We just might. Watch this. Cuts right through the heart. You see the conversion percentage there. Not too difficult for the pros. And a big mistake there. Those are the kind of mistakes that can cost you the win. Take a look at the 10 pin party in the pit. Ryan for the double now. Got it! Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Looking for three in a row now. Again. Feeling it now. Looking for the ham bone now. I mean, it's starting to get hot in here. The streak continues with four strikes in a row. Call it a ham bone. Working off the ham bone. Will we see five in a row? I wouldn't bet against it. Bang! Knocked him down again. Some great concentration, great focus, and some really good bowling. 
looking for six strikes in a row. Yes, they are sick. Now we hope you enjoyed this fabulous night of bowling as much as we did. So long, folks. Hi folks, we'd like to welcome you to the West Grand Championship Qualifier here in the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. I'm Rob Stone and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Folks have been looking forward to this one for a long time. Randy, what's the winning formula for these competitors? You're just hoping to stay consistent in a qualifier. Get your strikes, convert your spares, and hope it's good enough to get you to the finals. Welcome back. Game two of this qualifier coming up right now. Left the 4-7-10 split there. Yeah, not much you can do but try to hit the 4 and the 7 hard and hope one of them bounces out of the pit or off the sidewall. If you're lucky, it might take out the 10 pit. Tough deal here. Rarely converted, as you can see. Open frame here in the first. Rob, you just got to take a deep breath, shake it off, and regroup. That shot could not have been better. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Got it! Looking to keep it going with the triple. There's the turkey. Good looking shot right there. Working off three strikes in a row. That one was on the nose. Takes out eight pins, leaving the six and ten. Professional bowlers are awfully good spare shooters and will usually convert here. And a nice conversion there. Really a nice touch on that shot. Trying to get a streak going here. Two in a row now. Already has two strikes, looking for a third. Knocks down nine pins there.
Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, 98%. No problem. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pins. Ryan for the double now. Left the 7-9 split there. It is possible to slide the 9 into the 7, but the margin of error is so small that the shot has to be perfect. So that's an open frame. Not much you can do with a 7-9 split. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed this fabulous night of bowling as much as we did. So long, folks. Hi folks, we'd like to welcome you to the West Grand Championship Qualifier here in the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. I'm Rob Stone and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Folks have been looking forward to this one for a long time. Randy, what's the winning formula for these competitors? Well, the key here is to not lose your mind when things start to go bad. In a qualifying tournament, the players who keep their composure have the best chance for success. Welcome back, and we're all set for the third game of this qualifier. Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Trying to get a streak going here. to keep it going with the triple. The strike train rolls on. Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. There's a nine count. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, 98%. And no problem there. Wide on that one. Come on, 10 pin. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Gets the spare here.
Well, that was perfect. Dead solid perfect. Looking for two in a row. Two strikes in a row. Working off a double now. And the string keeps going. Makes a nice shot there for a turkey. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade to a ham bone. Ringing seven. It can be a cruel sport sometimes. Ninety-three percent conversion rate on the seven. That's your tour average. No problem on that one. Oh, ringer on that seven. Got it. Beautiful execution on that shot. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our events. On behalf of my partner, Randy Peterson, I'm Rob Stone. Keep on rolling.